Hi everyone, I am Shamanta MS, Assistant Professor at Physics Department in Maharaja Institute of Technology. In this session, I am going to explain the other unit uh, that is in module 3, we studied first electromagnetic waves. So, the next uh, concept is optical fiber. So, what is uh, optical fiber? Here we are going to study what is the optical fiber, uh, what are the applications of that and what are the types of different types of optical fiber, how that will operate and uh, what is the main application that is uh, in uh, point to point for communication. So, that we are going to study in this module that is in optical fiber. So, first optical fiber, how it is made? It is optical fiber is a transparent flexible, it is a, how it is looking like, it is like a transparent flexible and it is made up of a glass, silica or plastic. So, this optical fiber it is made up with the glass glass, silica or plastic or with the plastic. So, looking like it is a transparent and flexible. So, that means, uh, so we can uh, carry uh, for a long distance and we can place any way and it is uh, diameter, the optical fiber diameter that is uh, thicker than the uh, hair, human hair. So, that uh, optical fiber when uh, it is uh, one and it is considered with the uh, two ends in between that the ray of light will uh, pass. So, the ray of light will travel from one end to the another end without any loss of the signal. So, the totally it will carry the signal so, uh, from one end to the another end that information it will uh, pass the information easily from one point to the another point without any loss of the signals. So, this optical fibers mainly widely it is used in the for the communication purposes to transfer the data from one end to the another end. So, before this optical fiber we are using the uh, metal wires, metal cables. So, comparatively that uh, metal cables and electrical wires, this optical fiber will give a huge applications in the technology field. That means, it uh, uh, avoid the loss of the signals. Without any loss of signals, uh, it will uh, helps to transfer the signals from one end to the another end, transfer the information from one end to the another end without any loss of the signals ok. So, that is why nowadays so we are instead of using the metal cable, metal wires, now we are using this optical fiber ok. So, this is uh, it, uh, having a wide use application between the uh, engineering and the applied science. Uh, in so, that is the field of The field of applied science and engineering, the field of applied science and engineering concerned with the optical fiber that is known as optic fiber optics waves. So, the field of applied science and engineering concerned with the design and application of the optical fiber is known as a fiber optics waves. Uh, engineering concern concern with the design and application application of optical fiber is known as fiber optics so that uh, optical fiber uh, that is also we call known as our fiber optics that is in the case of if the field of applied science and engineering 
concerned with the design and the applications of the fiber optics. For that we used to call as the fiber optics. So this is mainly having the wide applications in the field of communication in the technology purposes that is to transfer the signal. So instead of using the electrical wires, so nowadays we are using the optical fiber. So let us study how the optical fiber is constructed and uh, what are the principles of that. Uh, it is working on which principles, how the light will propagate inside the optical fiber how the signals will transfer inside the optical fiber, so that we will study, okay. So this optical fiber mainly it is constructed, the construction of optical fiber construction of optical fiber, so it is mainly it is made up of the with the three layers. So that is so how it will look so optical fiber. So this is the uh, inside is core and the outside is cladding. Inside is core, the outside is cladding. So this uh, inside that inner layer, so this is uh, we called as a core, okay. So core that is uh, having the refractive index uh, N1 and the denser medium. So this is a, uh, this uh, region we have called as a cladding with the refractive index of N2. into and this uh, surrounding what is the light uh, ray for uh, enters so that we call as the surrounding medium okay so n1 denser medium and the uh, cladding region into rarer medium so this uh, is uh, covered with the sheath this optical fiber this cladding which is covered with the sheath so So that is called as a protective layer. Sheath protective layer. So this is outer layer sheath that is a protective layer. It is a made up of a polyurethane. Polyur It is made up of with the polyurethane. So, so like this, the optical fiber is made up of with the inner core, outer core, and uh, that uh, cladding which is uh, covered with the sheath. So that is a protective layer. Uh, it is made up of a polyurethane. So, the core. So mainly three layers. Uh, the optical fiber it is consists of three layers. So what are that? So one is core, so this core is inner layer, core cladding, so core is inner layer. So core is inner layer, it is uh, made up of with the refractive index N1 that is uh, a uh, denser medium. So inner layer of refractive index inner layer of refractive index N1 so that is with the denser medium. And this cladding, so this is cladding is outer layer. So cladding is outer layer, outer layer of 
refractive index n2 so that is uh, rarer medium so and the outer layer so that is a sheath so sheath is protective layer polyurethane so so it is mainly consists with the of three layers so one inside is core and the outside is uh, outer layer is cladding and the that cladding which is covered with the sheath so that is protective layer it is made up of a chemical with the polyurethane so this protective layer that will covers this optical fiber from the uh, outer that is maybe rain thunder so lightning so from that this polyurethane will uh, protects the optical fiber so next uh, so uh, let us we will see how the uh, this optical fiber will works on which principles uh, so that we will study so next principle of propagation how the light will propagate so, so inside the optical fiber so mainly to uh, it is uh, works on the principle of the total internal refraction so what is total internal refraction we know that when a ray of light will travel from the one medium to another medium that is from rarer medium to the denser medium then that light ray will reflect back to the same medium without uh, refraction without loss of signals that uh, ray of light will again it will come back to the same so that what we used to call has the total internal refraction so this optical fiber mainly works on the principle of total internal refraction so we have to know that here uh, mainly uh, total internal refraction total internal refraction and critical angle critical angle so what is critical angle for the angle of incidence for which the angle is of refraction is 90 degree so that angle is called as critical angle what we used to call so when a ray of light will uh, travel so that uh, so this is normal drawn when a angle of incidence when a ray of light incident so this is the rarer medium and this is the denser medium when a ray of light travel from the rarer medium to the denser medium so first it will get a refraction the angle of incidence so this uh, uh, what angle of incidence and angle of refraction so for for which the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence the ray of light will get refract so then the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence so that is uh, when the the ray of when theta when the angle of incidence is less than the angle of refraction so in this condition the ray refracted so the ray get refracted and the some part of the incident be refracted through the then uh, rarer medium so the ray is refracted so in this case some of the incident be 
refracted refracted through rarer medium n2 so when theta is less than theta r so for which the angle of for which the angle of then when theta i when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle then the total internal reflection will takes place so, so that is the ray of light it will uh, so for which the angle of uh, the ray of light into from the uh, ray, de denser medium to the and it will just uh, touches the interface of the denser medium and again it will reflect back to the same medium so that is total internal reflection so at this the angle of incidence is greater than the critical end so for this condition the optical fiber will work so the principle of this when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle so for which the total internal reflection will occur which total internal reflection okay. so when theta is greater than theta c for which the total internal reflection will occur so completely the ray of light will be reflect back to the same medium so at this condition next when similarly when theta the angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle so critical uh, like this happen so suppose that is a uh, so now when theta angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle so at that point the ray of light interfaces interface between the denser and rarer medium denser and rarer medium interface between the denser and rarer medium so that is so the ray of light which interfaces between the denser medium and the radium rarer medium for which uh, the angle of incidence for which the angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle so at the time the angle of when the angle of uh, incidence is equal to the critical angle for which that the angle of is interface be, uh, between the rarer medium and denser medium for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree the ray of light for which it is interface between the denser and rarer medium for that the angle of refraction is 90 degree so for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree which the angle of refraction is 90 degree so that is when the angle of incidence that is equal to the critical angle so the critical angle for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree so corresponding to that angle is called as the critical angle so the ray of light it is uh, reflecting back so here the ray of light which is the interface between the the ray of refraction which is away from the normal line the ray of light for which it is away from the normal line 
and that is interface between the two medium for which angle which hold has also critical angle. The refraction is taking place in between the interface between the rarer medium and denser medium for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree. So, that also we also also we used to call has the critical angle. So, totally the optical fiber which is working on the principle of the total internal refraction at this condition when the incident ray is greater than the critical uh, angle. So, then the ray of light will travels inside propagation of mechanism. So, that uh, propagation propagation of mechanism. So, that is when a ray of uh, when a, we used to consider the optical fiber. When a ray of light, so that is uh, enter enters the optical fiber, so that is completely reflected. Right. So this is a uh, in outer inner core is uh, core. So inner core. Sliding. So, that is for this when the angle of incidence that is uh, greater than the critical angle then the complete total internal reflection takes place the ray of light will travel from one end to the another end. So, to uh, obtain a total internal reflection there must be a the refractive index of the core the refractive index of the core must be greater than the refractive index of the cladding. So, here the refractive index for this propagation of mechanism the condition is what the refractive index of the core it must be greater than the refractive index of the cladding region. So, then only the total internal reflection will take place completely inside the optical fiber that is without losing of the signals that says a light ray when the refractive index of the core is greater than the re refractive index of the cladding so then only the propagation continues in the optical fiber so this is a refractive index of the this is a core and refractive index of this is cladding so, then only the light ray will uh, propagates from one end to the another end. So, next is theory of ray of propagation in the optical fiber. How the light ray will propagate inside the optical fiber with the total internal reflection and uh, what are the principles it includes. So, let us see. So, that is when a ray of light enters from the surrounding medium. So, then how the light ray will propagate? So, when a ray of light is enters from so the at the center the optical axis is there. So, with respect to that optical axis, so the center is the optical axis, this is called has the optical axis. So, inner layer is a core with the refractive index N1 and the outer region is cladding. 
with the refractive index n2. So when a ray of light enters from the surrounding medium to the inside the optical fiber, so at the time it uh, made an angle with the optical axis that is theta naught. So this, so when the ray of light enters but at the time the sum of the light ray will reflect back. So that reflected back, sum of the light ray will reflect back. So that will form an optic ocept cone. So this uh, that forms like an ocept cone. So that uh, acceptance cone, we can call it this as the acceptance cone. When the sum of ray of light will uh, reflect back, so then uh, it will take a cone like uh, shape so that uh, we used to call has this as the acceptance cone and where this uh, theta naught is the acceptance angle, acceptance angle, this incident angle. So then this uh, again inside when, uh, when the ray of light enter inside the optical fiber so that uh, incident ray will make an angle of with the optical axis so that is represented by theta 1 so that is represented as theta 1 and the ray of light which is uh, here normal to the normal line it is uh, flattening here then what is the ray of light that will uh, enter inside the optical fiber with the normal line it will make an angle of 90 minus theta 1 90 minus theta 1 so this is theta 1 and uh, the, the this uh, is the first quadrant that will make an of angle of 90 minus theta 1 so that is equal to the critical angle that 90 minus theta 1 that is equal to the critical angle and when the ray of light will uh, interface that uh, between the cladding and region so that we I will. So this uh, name it has a light ray OA. So when a OA light ray enters into the optical fiber so that light ray makes an angle so this is uh, at point B consider this as at point B. So when a ray of light strikes the optical fiber between the region core and cladding, so that light ray is uh, reflect back to the C medium at the point B and uh, when the ray of light that uh, angle of incidence is equal to this critical angle, so at the time what will happen? So this is interface, interface between the core and cladding region. So this uh, point uh, name that has C, name it has C, okay. So first initially it make an angle, what is that acceptance angle, so that is theta naught and then after entering into the optical fiber, so it makes an angle with the optical axis theta 1, so that is at the core and uh, then inside with the normal surface. So it will make an angle of 90 minus theta 1. So that is equal to the critical angle. So what angle it will make that is uh, equal to the critical angle 90 minus theta 1 is equal to the theta C critical angle. So at the same point that is a uh, interface between the two surfaces. So with the normal uh, surface by making an angle of refraction of with the theta is equal to 90 degree the normal. So when the angle of uh, incident ray that is interfaces between the two surfaces. So for that the angle of refraction so that is equal to 90 degree 90 minus theta 1 is equal to theta c for which the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degree so that uh, the ray of light which is interfaces between the core and cladding region.
with the normal surfaces and that makes an angle of 90 degree. So and the next the ray of light which enters the ray, ray the ray enters the enters the optical fiber optical fiber is less than the theta naught is less than theta naught so what is the angle of incidence uh, that ray uh, this theta 1 90 minus theta 1 and this 90 minus theta so this light ray which uh, is less angle is less than the acceptance angle so then only the total internal reflection takes place so for the total in the ray enters the optical fiber is less than theta naught which the angle of uh, incidence with the angle of incidence 90 minus theta 1 is greater than the critical angle. So then the total internal reflection takes place. So for which uh, so when, when the light of when theta naught is greater so than the angle of incidence so then the total internal reflection takes place for which the 90 minus theta 1 for which the angle of incidence 90 minus theta 1 is greater than the critical angle so then only the total internal reflection will takes place inside the optical fiber okay. so or suppose if any ray if any ray theta acceptance angle is uh, uh, less than the incidence angle and if any ray theta naught is less than the theta 1 then what will happen the ray of light will uh, enter inside the optical fiber so that will refract uh, that will refract through the cladding region so the ray of light will get reflect through the cladding region and what is the uh, that uh, data and the information will be lost in the optical fiber. So the ray of light will emerge out from the cladding region. So at this condition when theta naught is less than theta naught, so then the ray of light emerges. Ray of light emerges out through the cladding region. cladding region so then the ray of light will be lost in the optical fiber so these are the uh, a theory about the optical fiber so next uh, what is the condition for this optical fiber so for that we have to derive the derivation